NBC2 News at 6. Florida nursing homes and long-term care facilities are facing a crisis tonight. Staffing problems continue to plague the industry here and really across the country. Thanks for watching NBC2. I'm Peter Bush. And I'm Kelly Burns. Some lawmakers in Tallahassee have a plan to fix the problem, but nurses and other medical workers are pushing back. They told NBC2 chief political reporter Dave Elias it will do more harm than good. Well, this plan by lawmakers is drawing a lot of criticism from medical experts. Now, the plan calls for reducing the amount of time that CNAs spend with their patients in nursing homes. It also would allow nursing homes to accept more patients even when they don't have room. It should be a concern for everyone. Zeal Technical Institute trains certified nursing assistants. I completely understand why this bill is proposed. School founder Sylvia Dorsamy is seeing fewer students and fears the bill's passage could make things worse. I'm also not sure that will make it better for the work environments for CNAs where they're already struggling. Ashley Pfeiffer knows firsthand. I've already experienced not having enough time with patients. The bill would require that she spend even less time with patients. And at the end of the day, all you're doing is reducing the quality of patient care. It also allows nursing homes to pack in more patients, even if they don't have enough staff. Who came up with that? because untrained staff could take care of patients like bathe them. Nurse practitioner Sue Hook calls the bill a recipe for disaster. You can't just pile people in a facility without enough people to take care of them. Some legislators oppose it. We already know that we have a huge nursing shortage in the state of Florida. Including state representative Anna Escamani. My preference is that this bill never passes. But she realizes she may have to make a compromise. Or at least get a sunset provision so it's not a permanent fix. For fear more CNAs may look elsewhere. It is such a specialized field to be in taking care of people so you really need to know what you're doing. Now the AARP is also opposed to the cut in nursing home care. They're asking you to reach out to your legislators if you're concerned. Dave Elias, NBC2.